Leadership A crucial element for successful organizations. The concept of leadership continues to evolve as the needs of organizations change, thus leadership is the ability to influence others, gain their trust, and motivate them to make every effort to achieve goals in a dynamic and challenging business environment. Leadership is the art of getting someone else to do something you want to be done because he wants to do it. Said Dwight D. Eisenhower, a former U.S. president, thus it is the ability to influence others to get on board and get the work done, which requires a set of personal traits along with managerial competencies. Through that definition, it is clear that there is a set of personality traits that must be in a leader. Genevieve Kapowski has determined a set of mental and spiritual qualities in leaders and called them mind and soul. The main difference lies in that the mind is based on position power while the soul is based on personal power. Also, Bernard Bass has defined a set of personal characteristics in leaders based on six aspects of personality which are physical characteristics, intelligence, personality, social background, in addition to work-related characteristics such as the drive to achievement, responsibility, pursuing goals and task orientation. In addition to managerial competencies, which include comprehensive knowledge of management principles, the ability to transfer the science and knowledge of management to the reality by practical application, and the ability to keep abreast of developments in the management environment and adapt to them. Leaders are found everywhere in organizations and in all managerial levels. However, each level requires a set of technical and managerial competencies regarding to the level which the leader operates at. Thus, leadership and management don't conflict unlike trending opinions about the relationship between them are like the good and bad. Therefore, Buchanan and Huxinski have set four main factors to address leadership and management functions as integrated elements, which are creating an agenda, developing people, execution, and outcomes. In the perspective of leadership, creating an agenda is about establishing direction, vision of the future and developing strategies for change. While developing people means aligning them, communicate vision and strategy and influence creation of teams. The execution method goes through motivation, inspiration and energizing people to overcome obstacles and fulfilling human needs. That would lead to a high level of commitment, innovation and efficiency as an outcome to effective leadership. On the other hand, management's functions are planning, budgeting, organizing and monitoring results, which will lead to a well-organized and persistent entity. So, what is the source of leadership power? Power is the potential ability to influence others' behavior, thus there are different methods leaders can use to achieve that influence. Bureaucracy and legitimacy, reward, experience, skill and competency, emotions, and charisma. Therefore, there are different leadership styles that can be used according to the situation, risk, and the type of subordinates which are Autocratic leadership which tends to centralize authority and rely on legitimate, reward and coercive power to manage subordinates And democratic leadership, meaning a leader who delegates authority to others, encourages participation And relies on expert and referent power to manage subordinates According to the situational theory, there are four actions depending on the situation which the leader should decide which situation to take according to two main factors, which are supporting, coaching, delegating, and directing. Each action has an extensive impact on the subordinate, however they will all lead to a more effort, improvement, and satisfaction. Leadership is an ability to motivate and influence others through various approaches either charismatic or administrative, however, successful leaders adopt the right strategy according to the situation they are dealing with along with the readiness of their subordinates. Or like Peter Senge said, the core leadership strategy is simple, be a model. Thank you for watching, please subscribe to our channel to learn more about business and management.
You can also visit skilltext.com or follow us on all social media platforms to learn more.